Hey, Geographers! We are continuing with our Geography Unit today. Yesterday, I taught you about some of the natural resources found under the ground in Britain. Can you remember what they were? See if this can help remind you. Today, we are going to continue our learning about natural resources. We are going to learn more about the ones which are limited, which also mean finite and non-renewable, and natural resources which are abundant, which means plentiful and renewable. I would like you to make notes during this video, and then your task at the end is to draw or classify or show one way of sorting these natural resources into two groups, non-renewable and renewable. Natural resources are things that our planet creates for us that we use every day. For example, we need air to breathe. We need water to drink. We need plants to eat, like these ones here. We also need the soil to help our plants to grow. These are produced by things like coal and rocks. We also need the sunlight. This helps our plants grow too. But we also need it. We get vitamin D from the sun, which helps us have healthy bones and blood cells. We also need animals. And we also need coal and rocks too, because these help us provide energy. Yesterday, we learned a little bit more about coal and how it's a black rock, mostly made from carbon. It's also a source of energy, which powers and heats our homes. But there are so many other ways in which natural resources like coal can be used. Coal is a non-renewable natural resource. It's finite. It means that it took so long to form, we're talking millions of years, that the way that we're using it, it cannot be replaced. That means we need to find other natural resources that are abundant. This means we have lots of them and they won't run out anytime soon. We even use rocks and minerals from the ground to make pottery, things that are made from steel or iron, and we can even use rocks and minerals to make glass. Natural resources are found all over this planet. Today, your task is to look at natural resources which are renewable which means we have lots of them and we can keep reusing them again and again for a long time and non-renewable natural resources these are the ones that are going to be running out in the next few years now i want you to have a little think about some natural resources that are abundant natural resources like the wind the air sunlight and water. These resources can be used again and again and they are really good ways of producing energy. Water, for example, is an abundant resource. The planet will keep reusing water and it can be recycled. Water is a great way of making our plants grow healthily. Nature will make more rocks. Rocks can be broken down to make soil. Plants and animals are also really good renewable natural resources because they will continue to make their own kind. All plants and animals need O2, which is oxygen, from the air to breathe. Plants use sunlight and water from their soil and carbon dioxide from the air to make their own food. We eat many plants and their fruit and veg. Wood is also a natural resource. We obtain wood from trees and plants. We use wood to make tables slash desk, chairs and even fruit bowls. Paper is also a natural resource obtained from plants and trees. We need paper to do our schoolwork and to read books. And the great thing about wood is it's made from renewable resources. Plants and trees can reproduce 
and therefore it's abundant. Non-renewable natural resources like coal and oil are called non-renewable resources because they were formed a very long time ago, millions of years ago. Coal and oil were created by plants and animals that lived up to 300 million years ago. They died and were buried under the ground. After millions and millions of years, they moved lower and lower and lower beneath the ground and became coal and oil. We will run out of them. These are called finite, non-renewable natural resources. They've taken so long to be formed. They cannot be replaced because we use them so much. These non-renewable resources also include natural gas. It is very important that we conserve these. That means we do not waste them. Now let's summarise what we have learned in this lesson today. We have lots and lots of natural resources on this planet. Some are renewable, like wind, air and the sunlight. Some are not renewable, like coal and oil, and we need to conserve these. Can you think of any other natural resources which can go in either of these categories? I hope so, because that is your task today. Your task is to create a way of sorting natural resources into two categories, renewable and non-renewable. You can do this however you choose. Be creative, but there are three examples of how you can do this on your home distance learning sheet today.